Step one. First, you gotta tie a knot. Like I said, I come a little over a foot down. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna leave a big gap and I'm gonna tie a knot. Now, when you tie this knot, you wanna twist it in such a way that it is the opposite when you pull it tight. So I came from underneath. That way when I pull a grip and then I come back, it grabs a hold of these wires. Okay, and then I personally like to tie several knots. That's why I left such a big lead. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna tie a couple more of these knots. That one that pulls the other way, opposite of way from what I pulled the first time. See, now these got a good, nice, tight grip on here so that these two knots are pulling opposite directions so that now when I start the taping process, I know that my it'll have something tight to pull against. Next, we're gonna grab our electrical tape. This is our stretchy PVC tape like I was telling you earlier in the video. And we're gonna start all the way at the end of this wire. And we are gonna pull it so that this wire, you wanna make sure the string kind of twirls around and grabs a really good hold. And then you're gonna give it a little wrap and then you're gonna suck it tight. A wrap, pull it tight. A wrap, pull it tight. A wrap, I'm stretching it as I pull. If you don't stretch the tape, then it'll stretch while you're pulling. And if it stretches while you're pulling, then uh, your, your wires will come out of the pole. And I'm pulling 161 feet. The last thing I want is these wires to come out while I'm pulling and then have to pull 80 or 90 feet of this wire out and then have it uh, tangle up because when you pull it out, it wants to recoil like it's still on the spindle. So now as you look right here, you can see that we have all of these wires staggered and it gets smaller and smaller as we come down each wire. So there's less of an area for it to hit. If you have an area like this that's pretty abrupt, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit more tape on that to make that angle a little less steep. So now when it's pulling through the couplings, it'll have more of a roll there. See, it's not so sharp so that when it's pulling through and it has to hit this part or when it's turning through the 90s and it's bent, it ain't grabbing the edge of the couplings or the bell ends of the pipe. Next, we're going to go ahead and push this in a little bit. Now, most people don't realize this. You can push it in pretty far. When you're pulling this, it takes two people. And because I'm so far away, it's definitely going to take two people. You want one person here pulling and making sure nothing gets tangled because nothing worse than getting caught on one end not seeing and yanking the string out and pushing it down because the further away the more to help and then on the other end we'll take you over there and show you that as well uh, we will be pulling the string out and then the one guy on one end will be pulling it out and the other guy will be pushing it in I'm gonna show you a trick to making it a little easier on your hands for pulling the string through let's head over to the other side and check it out